Serious safety problems inside an arts and performing center in Station North. Baltimore City inspectors condemned the building just days ago. Now there's new information about the violations and what's ahead for those evicted. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren is live at the Bell Foundry building on Calvert Street with those findings. Mike. Vic, a deputy housing commissioner, says there were life-threatening issues inside this building and it was immediately clear that everyone had to get out. City inspectors were alarmed at the dangerous conditions they found inside the Bell Foundry, which had been used as an art and performance space for several years. The inspection report WJZ obtained called the building unfit for human habitation. A top housing official says they had no choice but to condemn the structure. It was an imminent danger right away as evidence of the fire department and when housing went back in and did a detailed inspection. The vacate had to happen. City inspectors detailed problems with a makeshift living space on the top floor that did not have beams, problems with the heating system that was not properly ventilated, electrical problems in the building, and a lack of proper exits in a basement space here. All of the electricity was a mess. The evictions here came days after a fire at a similar artist space in Oakland, California that killed 36 people and revelations that city officials there failed to act on numerous warning signs. We don't want any situations like what has happened in California to happen here in Baltimore. Baltimore's Bell Foundry had not been inspected since 2010 when it was permitted as an art space. Because people were never supposed to be living in the building, it did not require annual inspections. In Baltimore, code enforcement hinges on complaints. It's not the first time we've done it. It won't be the last time we've done it. All we can do is just make sure that we respond to those complaints. We rely on citizens to tell us what their observations are. The mayor insists artists were not targeted. We care about our artist community. We care about the creativity that they bring to the city, but we also want them to be safe. Now, there are no other plans to inspect similar buildings unless city housing officials get complaints. Those displaced here have already raised more than $17,000 online, and there are several other benefits in the coming days. Reporting live in Station North, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. The building dates to the late 19th century.